Hello everyone, this is Android Bites and welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. While this guy keeps on eating, we are trying to avoid to lay siege into the castle of Talmberg, so we are going to try and sneak up to save the hostages Sarazik and Lady Stephanie. So let's do this shit! How is going to get more food? Jesus. Okay, let's talk to the guys. Hello, guys. What the hell? What? Hey! He's going to eat more. No. <laughs> Training now. I'm ready. <laughs> Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything ah. you don't need, you can leave oh, here. Uh, I don't oh, want you clanking uh, around uh, in Ah, uh, okay. Oh, no, and uh, no, Okay. No, of course. No, I'll, I'll finish getting no. ready. I'll be with you. Where do I have black shit? Okay. You're going around clinking and clanking and shit. This does this clink? Think I'm good? Huh? Huh? I'm good. I'm good. Nice. Okay. Can we go now? Begin. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clanking around in place. Clanking? Armor. Yes. Yes, I'm ready to go. Not clanking. May the Lord watch over you. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. Very well. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. Uh, what if they're in their tower or, or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood? And leave them there? Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. We are BFFs now. Am I going to see my dad die again? They give me a father, they kill the father. Fuck my life. Oh, <laughs> Are you ready, Anna? No. Good luck. Good luck. That never, that never prevented me from doing shit. <laughs> okay. Nice, nice. We'll go first and take out the sentries. Wait here. Okay. What are they waiting for? They waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. <laughs> Fuck this waiting, I'm gonna climb. Oh god. Oh boy. He's gonna do shit, isn't he? This is such a bad idea. <laughs> I feel quite hungry. Oh no, I'm hungry now. 
I'll put on his armor and watch this side. Okay. But there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. Uh, Buffoon. Son of a Henry, bitch. then. Just make sure you keep quiet. That the, the guards at the gate. Where's the gate? That's probably A and B. Oh no, Anna. Now your stomach is going to give you away to the enemy. Oh. I remember in class, my stomach was always so freaking loud. Any questions? <laughs> Not from an stomach? There's one, there's two. How can I? Okay, okay. Alarm's been oh sold. god. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Well, uh, this was a bad idea. Well, uh, this is this was a terrible is idea. That the best you can do? No, this is actually stupid. This, this was actually stupid. And it was not your stomach. No, no, it's just it's just fuck it. My stupidity. But hey, when I'm hungry I do stupid shit. I'm gonna let myself die. Stop, Sintiri! Ah, so many, so many. Oh. Come here, Lily. Do Objective completed. Run. I have to admit, we didn't do too well. True. The shame of it. They drove us back before we even got anywhere. Was that supposed to happen? It's worse than if they killed us. Well, I wouldn't go that far. We had to give it a try. If we succeeded. If pigs had wings. Now, I know it troubles you, but it's not over yet. We'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastard Ishvan. <laughs> Fuck. Oh shit. Okay, uh, siege. Let the siege begin, I guess. Well, Anna fucked it up again because she was angry. Typical. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I should eat from butt. It seems, Robard, that we're running out of options. We don't have enough men to scale the walls with ladders. And we can't afford to lose any more. We can only take Talmberg by a ruse or with superior numbers. Ruses have failed. And we don't have superior numbers. And we are left with no choice but to build a trebuchet. A good trebuchet! Get the pull that shit! <laughs> Where is Master Faithor? He's waiting. We sent for him as soon as. Bring him to me. Let's not waste time. There goes Lady Stephanie's sugar walls. Sucks. It's a divvy. <laughs> You will build me a trebuchet, Master Tobias. Uh, Please. Uh, a trebuchet, my lord? That's not entirely in my field of expertise. We have to take back Talmberg. Yes, indeed, sir. I understand and that. And you but... are the best engineer we can rely on in the whole fiefdom. Oh, well, thank you, my lord. But it's, it's just that I've never built a trebuchet before. It's, this could take some time. Then you'd better get to it. Bernard will go over the plan of attack with you. Uh, I... Uh... Oh. Well, Master Tobias, you have much to do in little time. I will not keep you any longer. Indeed. Of course, sir. Thank you, my lord. <laughs> How are the preparations proceeding in the other camps? As well as can be expected under the circumstances. There are still many things that need doing, but I just don't have the time for them. Mm. No, you don't. 
Henry. Yes, sir. I would like for you to help with the preparations and the encampments. Gladly, sir. Robard will brief you. That'll be all. After all the shit I did, they still keep on asking for my help. Dumb fools. <laughs> ah, siege. First food. Wait. Food. Where's the food? Savage. Savage. There's the food. I eat a from pot. Ah, now I am ready. supposed to make me feel better. Is it going to poop? God save you, Henry. in the act. Yo, don't poop. What should I do? What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass. But what we have here now is havoc. The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere, complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. They're moaning they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Jivish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? I heard some of it. And what did you make of it? Doesn't understand shit. <laughs> Seemed a bit uncertain. He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. But, if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. How do you feel? <laughs> How are you faring, Sir Raybart? How do you think I'm faring, lad? Hmm? There's some cutthroat thug lolling about in my bed at the castle. Well, at least no one's raised Talmberg. Not so far. Though we may end up doing it ourselves to smoke the bastard out. I imagine Sir Divish isn't taking it too well. And why do you think he handed command over to me? But it pains my heart, too. That place is my home. What's the easiest way to take back Talmberg? The easiest way? <laughs> Call in the Royal Army and leave it to them. But there's no Royal Army to help us now, and we can't afford to wait. What's more, we don't want to destroy the castle. Personally, I'd like to return to it. Repairing the castle would be expensive. And time-consuming. No trebuchet is wholly on target. The missiles fly as they please. And if we blast the castle to pieces and Sigismund comes back, he'll make short work of us. Do you think Sigismund will come back? How do I know what's in his head? But if he doesn't take advantage of this chaos, someone else probably will. The whole country will know about it soon enough. I'd never have thought so many people were keeping an eye on Talmberg. Like that fellow Havel. Not only Talmberg, and we've left precious few men in Rattai. If we're defeated here, who's to stop them from pillaging the whole province? And there's no shortage of power-hungry bastards like Havel and Toth in Bohemia. Is there some way we can get through the gate? There are steps from the gate up to the walkway on the battlements, and I don't know how Istvan's covering them. Then there's the portcullis to get through. A big battering ram might breach it, but how could you get one that close? I reckon we'll have to set fire to it. Stuck up brushwood and light it? Brushwood, timber, anything that burns, soaked in as much pitch as possible. The local charcoal burners surely have some. And even if it doesn't burn the gate right down, it'll weaken it and make it easier to break through. Exactly. Okay, so get charcoal, I guess. And what about the walls? Which side is the most vulnerable? The south and east are solid. It would be useless to try anything there. It's best defended from the north. And as for the west... From the west is where we tried it and got royally fucked, if you recall. But I think in the end we'll try that way again, only this time we'll do it better. Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranik for longer. It would have been much easier there. Toth is a wily fox. If he'd had all his men with him there, there would have been real carnage. It's likely we only won there because he'd already gone and taken most of his best soldiers with him. Is there anything else I can help with? 
Well, we need some pitch. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. Is there anything you can tell me about Talmberg's weak points? The truth is, Talmberg has far too few weaknesses. Who'd have thought that was something I'd come to regret? Mm. Good luck to you. Good luck to you. Let's talk to the dude about the trebuchet. He seems very, very worried. <laughs> the Lord be praised. What brings you to me? Help. I'm going to help you. Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. I, a mining engineer. What do I know of war machines? I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? I don't know anything about trebuchets either. <laughs> Actually, there is a way you could help. Conrad Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Conrad. Conrad Kieser? Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. Oh, he even took part okay. in the siege of Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. He was with Sigismund. It's not so straightforward. They quarrelled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Hmm. I don't suppose he took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Bethlehem Castle. All right. I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. Take care. Okay, where the hell do we find that guy? Let me see. Uh, hey, okay. And where the hell is it? The guy's here, okay. So where the hell is he? Is he inside or...? <laughs> Probably down there. Would the you village no God be with you. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kieser? What do you want from the old buzzard? Nah, never mind. What do I care? It's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery. Mm, okay. God be with you. See, it was that simple. The chicken knew too. Chickens know too much. And the cow agreed, which is a big house. Is it this one? That's not a house, Anna. It's a little chapel. Well, fuck. Is this this one? Oh, come on. Good day to you. What do you need? Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. Ah, the world renowned Conrad Kieser. World renowned? If not yet, then soon. Our Master Keezer is a mastermind. Ooh, that's what you we want. You won't believe the things he comes up with. You'll be hearing more of him. You mark my words. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for? Tobias Fayfar has sent me. He is asking Master Conrad for help with the Siege of Talmberg. Hmm, must be important then. 
Go in. Well, I don't know how he can help from here. Here's the key. Farewell. Farewell. So can I open? Okay. Is he upstairs? No. <laughs> no? He's downstairs. Oh. You, you know will recognize him. I will. Enter. Enter. Huh? By the horn of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Recognize him. Don't recognize him. Sir, Tobias Fafar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his What the fuck? Fafar? Tobias Fafar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Fafar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn, I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Can't you remember the interviews they did with him? It's Brian Blessed, that charismatic man. Oh! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Kind of looks like Pavarotti. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to say. Kind of like, looks like Pavarotti. Yeah, yeah, now I remember. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little... The voice is uh, cool. More than really a little cool. ...critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then, when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Bethlehem Castle. They locked you up in Bethlehem? <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they lead me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons thanks to all this unrest. <laughs> and why are you here in Sasa? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum. My legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world will be run by machines and inventions <laughs> not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? <laughs> oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, <laughs> things for battle. <laughs> I just say, maybe you could give us some blueprints or some shit. But you won't. Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself. But I discussed the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Could I not just pay off the master builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction, 
As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes. What are you thinking? I'm going to steal the money. Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. That's a good idea. How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You'll need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. Okay, okay. So we have some sneaking up to do. Some stealing. Some forgering. <laughs> you know. The huge. So first, let me see. Oh, that one is optional. Arrange for Conrad to leave the construction site. Uh, it's optional, but it isn't. I'm going for the B first. Still master build the Carol commission. <laughs> okay. Uh. No, no. the fuck is that guy? Where is it? Is it upstairs? This guy doesn't even know I'm here. He just said, oh, what the hell? Okay, now I'm not supposed to be in here. It's probably here. Ah, let's try it. Oh no! Shit is difficult. Is it maybe on his pocket or some shit? Maybe I can take a, a key? Hey! Mm. You better save the game now. Okay, that's probably a good idea. I can't. I have no schnips. <laughs> oh, great. Then produce it. There's an alchemy bench. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I can already save. I'm gonna steal your shit when you're asleep. That's what you get. <laughs> Should I not call? How was this? I don't even remember. Ah, oh, fuck, son of a bitch. Does Again! Have, in the name, where are you sticking your fingers? In your ass! Thief! <laughs> Perfect! Where are you going? Where was the... Oh, it Don't was up there. It was, it, it was up there. It was on this side, right? It was not the key for that shit. 
Just a gift for what? Fuck. Okay, short of money for the wages. Good enough. <laughs> Okay, now we need to wait a little bit longer. Caralho! God be with you. I need some help from Master Conrad. Then go and talk to him. The thing is, he's already agreed, but he'd have to go to Talmberg. I can't consent to that. He signed a contract for building the monastery, and we pay him a pile of coin for every day he spends here. Conrad would only have to leave for a few days. Surely you can manage without him for a short while. We might, if he didn't get himself killed there. I've given my answer. No. He stays here until the abbot says otherwise, and the abbot isn't here at the moment. Supposing I compensated you for his brief absence, perhaps with some coin? What use would coin be to me if the monastery roof collapses? Then I'd be the one having to pay compensation. But the conquest of Talmberg is more important for the province. From what I hear, it's awfully important first and foremost for your lord. Sassau's always been neutral. Anyway, I take my orders directly from the abbot. Oh fuck! It's for nothing. Thank bitch. you for your invaluable assistance. You're welcome. May God reward you in kind. Are you sure you, Are you, sure you won't win, really, <laughs> Conrad? You won't be gone long. Not a chance. Hmm. Well, anyway, I've heard it said there's not enough money to finish the construction. So, I thought as a lover of architecture, I might contribute. How the hell do you know that? That's neither here nor there. The important thing is to let me help you. How much will you give, damn you? Okay, okay, he's already pissed. Very well, then. Kiza can go. Yes! It's been a pleasure doing business with you. Nailed it! Good luck to you. Not in the best way possible, but I did it. <laughs> You're free! Pavarotti! <laughs> Who's on here, right? Hmm? Ah! <laughs> Bitch! <laughs> An assassin! After all this time! An assassin? What? What the hell is that? Oh, what the fuck is that? One hour? An assassin! After all this time! Bleach, What the fuck happened? I left Prague, didn't I? Why do they want to kill me now? What the hell happened They're to him? They're after me! Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come! What? Who is... Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door! Not now! Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me! Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course! Why would they be after you? Because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now, he's decided to pay me back! What am I to do? <laughs> what makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekka in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Okay. Take it easy. If someone's after you, I'll see to him. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. 
I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll ah, catch you. Good idea, good idea. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. Watch out for the assassin at midnight. Okay. What is it? So I'm gonna have to wait outside. Where is the beach? <laughs> He's still complaining. Should I wait? The fucking chicken just scared me. <laughs> Is it the chicken? Was it pebbles? <laughs> Maybe. I think the guy is delusional. I don't see anyone. What am I to do? What the hell am I to do? Killer? Go! <laughs> Fair enough. But try that again and you'll rue the day. What? <laughs> what are you here for? Would you be Master Paycar? I would. With whom do I have the pleasure? Henry of Scalitz. <laughs> what do you want from me, Henry of Scalitz? I just punched your face multiple times. <laughs> to ask why you've come to Sassau? An interrogation, then, I see. On business, of course. And who is it you're doing business with? <laughs> why don't you ask about my mistresses instead? My trade partners are my own private concern. Stay away from Master Kieser. Kieser? Conrad Kieser? Why should I want anything to do with him? So he doesn't need to worry about you? Worry? Good Lord, no. Why? We were friends. Then why the hell was he at his door? That will be everything. This guy's so gullible. Right, that'll be everything. What? As the Master instructs. Bye bye. So I just punched him silly for nothing. <laughs> no, no, no. The fuck does he want with my with my Pavarotti friend? This is weird. He runs a lot. What a nice stroll under the moon! Look at this shit. With the peaceful cows and stars. <laughs> See, I can do shit to him. Uh. 
LT. This is the weirdest shit ever. Now show us the map. <laughs> now watch the distance you made. I'm gonna loot his ass. What can I loot? Door key. No, oh, lockpick, lockpick. Whoa, now! No! That's good enough? Well, did you find yes, anything? Yes, and I killed his I ass. And? He's dead. He was an assassin, all right. Lord have mercy. Was it Pekar? Yes. I saw him all too clearly. So they are after me. I knew it. Sweet Jesus. There'll be more. I need to hide away somewhere. Come to Talmberg. You'll be surrounded by a whole garrison there. Yes. Yes, I suppose that does make sense. Uh, thank you, Henry. I'm in your debt. We'll meet at Talmberg. Oh, finally. Yes, yes. Let's go. Andy. He's going by himself, apparently. He really doesn't want me to go. <laughs> okay. Let's go to Tomberg. A well chosen site. You want to strike the gate, do you? True. We don't want to do more damage than necessary. I quite understand. So Toth is holed up there, is he? Just so, Master Conrad. I hear you have some accounts to settle with him. Ah, not entirely. I've done with him. Sigismund trusted him more than me in his campaign against the Ottomans. And we all know how that ended up. Uh, how did it end up? Badly, my lord. The flower of French knighthood was slain there. Sigismund fled for his life. And I did too, I must confess. Be assured, we shall not make the same mistake here. We do not intend to starve them into submission, but to break down the gate. I am at your service, my lords. We will build the trebuchet quickly. It will be ready in a matter of days. And I can supply, for example, Roquetta to sweep the foe from the battlements. Roquetta? I do not believe I've heard of such a term. It's a cheese. Roquetta. Oh, no. Our missiles filled with black powder <laughs> with a touch hole at the bottom to ignite it. They shoot forward, something like a hand cannon, but without rocks. The rocket is the missile. <laughs> I see. Everyone's face. But we don't have black powder in these parts. Nor cannon. Indeed. It should have occurred to me. But I am very fond of Roquetta, and I always think what Alexander the Great might have accomplished with them. Okay. <laughs> I understand. We find ourselves in a conventional situation that demands a conventional solution. I'm still hoping that Toth will see sense and parley with us. He may well do so, especially when we set up the trebuchet on his doorstep. He's having too much fun. I understand. He's savage. As is me. Okay, so I have all this optional shit to do. That quartermaster, Sadivish Bernard, and get some pitch. Okay, I'm going to do all this shit off camera so that in the next episode I can go to the siege. I'm going to build a trebuchet, get to pull myself inside the fucking castle. And I'm going to annihilate Toth and Lady Stephanie's ass. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye! <laughs>